Another important part of your on-page SEO is what is schema and how do you add schema to get your featured snippets and everything else to take up more of the landscape online. And SEMrush have a what is schema beginner's guide, which goes into great detail on what types of schema you can have, which has obviously got articles, events, products, people, organizations, local businesses, reviews, recipes, and medical conditions. And you can see how schema works on these pages and you can go into the whole technical um, knowledge of how that works and the formats and the placements and the examples and everything else all very boring stuff i absolutely hate schema but it provides amazing results and how can you generate your own schema now there are plugins out there that can do schema for you you've got um, the schemaapp.com, you've got Wordlift, you have various other tools that will allow you to implement schema onto your WordPress website or any other type of website for that matter. However, where plugins are concerned and automation is concerned, it doesn't always 100% do the job. And I've tried and tested a lot of plugins and I don't think anyone could argue that adding your own schema manually is the best, most accurate way of doing that. And how do you do that? So obviously SEMrush go on to show you the different ways in which you can generate great schema markup for your company. And they've got some stuff here, schema testing tools and everything else. Now, <coughs> obviously the, the main goal is, does schema help Google? Does schema make you rank better? The benefits of having structured data? on your website and all of that kind of stuff. And the answer is pretty much anything that you can do to help Google to grab more of the landscape and everything else, then you want to be doing it. Now, how would you go about adding schema for your website? So Google has its own markup helper and essentially it allows you to tag the data and generate the schema for yourself. So let's take my homepage as an example. I'll just come back out of this. So you enter the page, the URL down here, and I'm just going to randomly tick local business schema just for this particular um, example. So it's, I'm going to start tagging that page. Now obviously my name is blank up here, um, and what I'd potentially want to do is tag my name there. So I highlight my name and I'm going to tag that as Craig Campbell. Then I can get an image, telephone number, email, opening times. I can get some ratings, review schema um, and whatever else. And I can add in missing other tags if there's something missing there. So you can do all of that, um, add the tags and I'm not going to bore you to tears by doing it all just now, but then you basically create the HTML for that schema there and bang it into your website. Now, it will tell you add the script block below to the head section of your HTML. Um, you can add the header and footers tag. Uh, sorry, header and footers plugin if you don't want to be messing around with the code of your website. Um, and it depends on your template. There's some parts there where you can embed your schema on some of those templates. But that is essentially how you would do your own schema. You don't need technical ability. There is schema generators out there. And as I say, it's just a painful process of going through all of this stuff and then adding in the, the, the relevant parts to um, that page. So that is the painful part. And uh, yeah, it is what it is, but uh, that is how you tag it. And um, you know, you can tag whatever you want um, here, just randomly tagging stuff. I could just say that's the telephone number. It's obviously not. So make sure that you tag the right stuff um, and not something completely random because you don't want your schema pulling through all sorts of different information. You want to make sure it's wholly accurate um, to get the best results. So 
simply highlight all of that kind of stuff if it was local schema business you were going to do if you want to do any other type of schema then you would enter the appropriate page um whether that be the uh you know a free course page oops um do, do, do. products schema um and that will just load up the page and then we simply start tagging that page when it loads up and um, taking the HTML away or the schema away and impl uh, implement that onto the website. So it is simple and easy. It's something you could actually give to a VA easy enough. Uh, it's very it's a tedious repetitive task and anything like that you can get someone else to do the heavy lifting rather than you going through it all page by page by page yourself and uh, just get someone to go through that you know might take them a month or two but uh, it can be very simple the more you get into it and you get on a roll the, the, the quicker it's going to happen and uh, the people will start to understand uh, you know what schema is and, and how to roll out quicker the tool is obviously taking an eternity to load but as you can see product schema brand offer the price and everything else so different types of schema allow you to add different types of tags and that is essentially what you want to be tagging up there um with the the schema so it's as i say simple and easy to do um, just tag everything up appropriately and job done simple as that so take your time do it manually do please check out the, the the tools that are out there i personally think that manually adding schema you can't really go wrong i have had a few problems with some tools but you know the tools are always getting better and if there is a way of automating it then you want to try and automate it where possible but you need to make sure it's accurate um so at the moment this is the best option i can suggest for you just now adding schema getting you know your faq schema and everything else and and you know why would you want to do that so i'm just going to show you an example um of a search term that I have a little bit of schema on. So I've added FAQ schema to this particular page. Um, and you'll be able to see that by adding that FAQ schema, I've got the little FAQ boxes underneath my organic search results. Now, I could have added different types of schema and take up more of the landscape, but the job for me is to grab this or any featured snippets or anything else that's out there that gives me more space than the person that's below me and that is the name of the game and as i say different types of schema for different types of pages and it's up to you to basically grab as much of that as you possibly can you can have a look at the competition see what type of schema they're using um, and replicate that and try and do or grab as much space as they are um, to to kind of dominate the organic search results and all the kind of other additional feature snippets and uh, all the other little bits and bobs that it allows you to grab. So definitely implement it as part of your own page.